Hey guys, welcome back to Sucker, Shadow Pripyat, or whatever you want to call it. Um, Alright, so, I'm going to just ignore this Bard and Joker's Fate thing, because it's actually really not that interesting of a quest, to be honest. Um, there is something I will do. Uh, Alright, first things first. So, you remember that X8 laboratory? I may have actually missed some documents there. Uh, so we may actually go back there. Um, they may actually pertain to this one right here, which is Stingray Squad. Uh, it basically, it doesn't really tell me where to go here, which I found to be highly confusing. Uh, but apparently the documents in the laboratory may help with that. And there was some I did miss. Um, I only got one set of documents and then it kind of let me just leave. So, well come out again and come on, Major. Put, your gun away for God's sake. put your gun away for God's sake so it's not kindergarten I think it's at the service center I'm guessing I kind of forget exactly where it is to be honest but whoa that is fucking creepy yeah that was pretty creepy <laughs> one second you see him one second you don't what do you know? So we're gonna go back to X8 Labs. Just so I can have a look around. Uh, this would not be the place. It would be probably up there. That would be something psychic, but we're not gonna fucking touch that. This place is getting worse all the time. Put the buckshot back on this thing. Okay, so the one round I loaded into this, interestingly enough, is not, it's just a buckshot round. But I think it's, you're supposed to load the entire thing, which I have to commend it for the realism, actually, in that way. I have to unload the entire weapon and reload it to put in the proper ammunition. Do I have any grenades left? Yeah, five grenades, so... Alright, we should be good. So it should let us back in there. Yes, it will. We're gonna completely unload the, the shotgun and... I didn't drop it on the ground, did I? Alright. I don't think it's actually up here at all. I think we only got one of the documents pertaining to it, and I think I have a good idea of where the other ones are. We did somewhat fully clear this place, but... You know what, you can never be too careful, guys. So right now I'm just holding F. I'm hoping just to stumble into them. If I find at least one of them, then I'll know that there's at least a couple left here. Fuck them, piece of shit. Okay, I didn't look in here yet. Stop shooting. Alright. We are finding additional documents. I forget if this is one I can shoot. 
It may not be. Okay, we'll just close that up again. Apparently doors didn't do anything to this thing. Goes right through them, doesn't even care. We actually weren't here either, so... Got a good look around first. I knew this place existed here. Research documents there. Jack Wish, was that you? Right, fuck this guy. <laughs> Got him. Okay, now he's gone. That was some incredibly creepy shit. And there is no baby in the bathroom, so. Or, or no Jack Witchell, sorry. Alright, well, let's go down here. Have a quick look, see around. Uh, I think we were already down here, were we not? Yeah, that's where the. That's where that dude hangs out. Uh, we aren't done here yet. We need like, um, I think it's like six documents in total. Oh, that's a good fucking sign. That moment when you realize you're just dead. We actually didn't start that far back, so we can just kind of hop into it again. These things are more than welcome to fuck off and die. Alright, there's actually nothing here. I thought there would actually be something here. What's the point of this place? Oh wait, there's some ammunition actually. Some nice ammunition too, so you know what, that actually wasn't a bad call on my part. Let's see what's over here. No, nothing. Alright. I'm trying to think of where the last documents would be. I'm like constantly hearing shit. Oh, it's because there's shit down there. They can just fuck off. <laughs> That's the sound I like to hear. Alright, there's an M1 something 11. 
Doesn't look like it's anywhere around here. Oh wait, anti-rad drugs. Okay. First aid kit? Alright. Alright, well we gotta give this place a little bit more credit. may actually have the good stuff. Okay, here's their toaster oven. You gotta have a toaster oven in a place like this. Oh boy, I love... Oh, there we go. Order of transfer. I would love to just stop and read some of this, but... Busy kind of getting creeped out by everything. Yeah, it's totally what I'd do if I was like in the darkness, like in like a fucking pond or something. And I'm just walking through it, is I'd just stop all of a sudden and see if like something was uh, stops as well. Alright, let's have a look at what we have right now. So we're still technically in this area. Uh, see, the science in the Caribbean received the signal, but it's distorted. The signal was altered in some strange way. That the no new sphere there is correct in these changes, maybe the no sphere may, may not fall into anyone else's hands. Mail for item 62. Order of transfer. All materials to a laboratory called X7. Alright, research documents. Biological Slimeter. Essentially a great brain. It was grown as a part of a research conducted in Lab X16. Alright. More labs. I'm trying to think of any other place I've really explored here. I swear there's actually supposed to be one right down there. Oh, there is one. I just keep missing it. Okay. That's another one. Alright, that's another one down. Oh, there's one. There's the last one. And some AC... E45 rounds. And this would be, I don't know which one it is. Technical characteristics of an antenna and how they were able to deviate from plants. Alright. Fuck. Fell. Could eat my health kit. I think we may actually be done. Yeah, that that blueness is the we're done blueness. Fuck that. Fuck. I went to the wall. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to be there? <laughs> oh, I fell through the hole again. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that guy coming out signals that we actually got all the documents. That we were supposed to. Fuck this shit, honestly. Uh, I feel like if I go through this elevator route that I'm actually fucking myself. But I'm just gonna lob a bunch of grenades, I don't fucking care. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that shit. We're out. Alright, the door opens again. And we can just leave. 
There's actually nothing else for us here. So I did miss a couple of shit uh, documents, but it's fine. We got it, and it should actually... I think we're not allowed back down there anymore. Oh, I guess we are, but it doesn't matter. That shit is incredibly creepy, though. Actually, this entire entire game just has like a completely creepy kind of undertone to it. It's actually great. That's why it's the best game. Search the body. Oh yeah, it's a nice. What the hell is this? Five second timer. Base, I found one of your men. It looks like he blew himself up with a grenade. There are no signs of a firefight or any other evidence of him being attacked. Kowalski here. Roger that, Major. Hey, I got good news. We finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. Alright, we can go deaf and deal with that now. That's not literally on the way. So he had a... Um... He luckily had explosives on him for a uh, fight with the five second delay. Those things are so little. Actually, I think did I see something there. It would be awesome if, like, during lightning storms, you could see bloodsuckers during the lightning. Fuck, man, I should be a game developer. I don't know if I think of these things. Oh, good, this place, of course. <laughs> oh my god, that's so creepy. Why are we blowing up the door on the bottom, on the bottom floor? Well, I guess every mutant is gonna definitely know we're here then. Good. We want to start. We want to start in the worst possible place. It's maybe another situation where I bring out the grenades. Shit. That's definitely the poltergeist. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to shoot it, by the way. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I knew they were. I knew I was allowed to kill them. Fucking piece of shit, honestly. Alright, well, there's nothing over here. Not. Ah, oh, dude, it's a perfect place to go to sleep. Except we're not allowed to. Alright, looks like we gotta go down a floor. Still a yellow tent. Holy shit, this fucking cat. Uh, some ladder here for no reason. Huh. 
Well. Eliminate the source of the, the interference. Oh, of course it can't be that simple. The antenna of some sort. Do I just need to lob a grenade at it? It's killing me slowly, so that's great. No, oh, that naturally would not be the way you remove interference. What was the one we'd actually do here? Uh. <laughs> I've tried grenades and nothing else seems to work. Okay. You are supposed to shoot it. Uh, that, that's all it took. Right. Investigate the sound. What sound? Oh. Holy shit. That's scary. How did you end up here? Uh, I don't remember much. I was so scared I could barely think, and I don't even know what scared me. I had a feeling I had to hide, so I ran. I remember the streets, turnings everywhere, and I came into this hole. The door was locked from the outside. I thought I was going to die in here. How did you find me? Actually, let's get the hell out of, out of here and closer to base. This place give me the willies. Okay, let's go. Is that really you? Well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our dock again. So what happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your help. By the way, the Colonel wants you to pay him a visit. Thanks. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov's station to restock. He asked me to tell you that he won't be back for a few days. Gotcha. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed so, to go. tell me, where were you? You're not going to believe me anyway, but in a fridge. I spoke to the HQ commander and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. USS observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes, I have the coordinates. But the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? I'll check. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Next time we'll finish off this thing, I think. So take care, everyone. Goodbye.